was on Jones. And ladies and gentlemen, this is my WrestleMania 26 predictions video. Ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania. <laughs> WrestleMania 26, right around the corner. Right around the corner. It's finally here. After all the build up, after all the tight, uh, after all the talk, I mean, after all the hype, WrestleMania 26 is almost here. Now, this is just my predictions video. You know, this is just my thoughts and my opinions. So, here we go. Let's start off with CM Punk and Rey Mysterio. Now, CM Punk and Rey Mysterio, you know, these guys had some pretty decent build-up. I thought, uh, you know, this angle they did on SmackDown was actually pretty good uh, when, uh, when Rey Mysterio brought his family. And, uh, you know, he had his family there, and uh, <laughs> he had his daughter. And I thought his daughter, pretty good acting about his daughter, you know, to help uh, basically hype up, you know, their hatred between uh, CM Punk and uh, Rey Mysterio. So, you know, this this got some pretty good uh, build-up, despite the fact that, you know, that the build-up wasn't as long as the other build-ups. But I think the build-up was pretty good nonetheless, and I think the match is going to be pretty good nonetheless. But the person who I think is going to win this match, oh, wait, by the way, the stipulation is if Rey Mysterio loses, he has to join the straight-edge society. But, you know, you ask yourself, will that actually happen? You know, Rey Mysterio does have a bald head, you know, if you can tell when he doesn't, you know, when he wears his, uh, his helmet, I mean, his mask, with the, uh, well, well, the back of his head is showing, you can see that Rey Mysterio is bald. So, but will he join the straight edge society? Huh, it's a little tough one. I can sort of see him joining the straight edge society, you know, making a, you know, a pretty good storyline, and he's just driving Rey Mysterio crazy, making his life a living hell, but, you know, we'll see. But I'm just going to go ahead and say that Rey Mysterio is going to win this WrestleMania match. You know, I'm just going to stay on the space down and see, you know, and just say that Rey Mysterio is going to win between uh, Rey Mysterio and uh, CM Punk. He's going to win that match. But moving on. Next, we got the Big Show and the Miz. Show Miz versus, you know, um, I don't know what these guys call themselves, The Rock and Rap Connection. No, basically R-Truth and CM Punk. Now, R-Truth and CM Punk, I don't like this tag team at all. I don't like these guys as a tag team. I like those guys as a, you know, as an in-ring competitor, as a performer. But I don't like these guys as a tag team. Matter of fact, it wouldn't surprise me if this tag team doesn't, uh, you know, I mean, if this tag match doesn't even, you know, it's, you know, it's a dark match. You know, a match that they don't show on TV. You know, WrestleMania lately has been having those matches. You know, that they don't show on TV. And by the way, this is the last hype match and probably the worst hype match, basically, because they came out with this match out of nowhere. But I'm going to go ahead and say that Show Miz is going to retain the title. Now, Show Miz, I don't think Show Miz has been as good as Jericho. Show. I mean, when Jericho, Show, you know, <laughs> these guys are bringing so much prestige back to the tag team division. But it's not bad. You know, I, I do like, uh, you know, Show Miz. But, you know, I, I just don't think they're as good as Jericho. Show. But, you know, hey, you're working with the Miz. He's still got a lot to learn. I like the Miz, but he's still got a lot to learn. But moving on to the next match. Let me see what match we got in there. What else, match? Ah, we got Triple H and Sheamus. No, we got Triple H and Sheamus. Pretty decent build-up. Don't like Sheamus. Uh, Triple H is at WrestleMania, and he's not in the main event, so, you know, <laughs> I'm sort of glad that, you know, glad that Triple H is in the main event. But we got Triple H versus Sheamus. You know, I guess Triple H is trying to get this guy over. So he's trying to get this guy over because, you know, Triple H don't really help get guys over. So he's trying to get this guy over. We'll see if he can get this guy over. I just pray to God that this match is better than the one he had at last year's WrestleMania versus Randy Orton. But then again, he's in there with Sheamus, and Sheamus absolutely sucks, if you ask me. I don't like the guy at all as an in-ring wrestler. So, who's going to win? You know, I'm going to let him. I'm going to say that Sheamus is going to win, basically because I think that Triple H is trying to get Sheamus over. You know, that, that's just what I think. So I'm just going to go with Sheamus. But it wouldn't surprise me if he loses because, hey, it's WrestleMania, it's Triple H. So, moving on to uh, a triple threat match, Legacy, Randy Orton, Rose, and DiBiase. Now, this match, I don't know how good this match might just be. I don't think it's going to be too fancy, you know, as, as a triple threat. But then again, this match may be decent at best. This might get a two-star rating, believe it or not. But, uh... Who's going to win it? You know, I'm just going to go on the left hand. I'm going to say Randy Orton's going to win this match. Bottom line, I think Randy Orton's going to win this triple threat match. I think they're going to play on a decent match. But, you know, the hype you know, the hype so far has been decent. They probably should let uh, DiBiase win this match. Or then again, maybe Rose, because some people feel like Rose is going nowhere after, you know, you know DiBiase and, and Rose, you know, after they completely break up. But then again, you know, Randy Orton might just win. But I'm going to go say Randy Orton is going to win this match. So the build-up has been okay. It's, it's okay build-up. This is one of those matches where the build-up is 
<laughs> it's okay. It's okay build up. The next match, uh, Divas match, uh, who cares? Who cares? Matter of fact, you know, I see the tag team match between the, you know, Big Show and, and Show Miz, and, uh, Big Show and Miz, and, uh, you know, uh, Morris and R2. I say that match is going to be on TV, but then again, this Divas match probably not going to be on TV. But then again, maybe it will because the last couple ones have been, and those matches suck. So I'm not even going to go. I don't care. I don't care. So uh, I don't care. Not that I don't care about women wrestling. I just don't care about this match, period. So moving on. Don't care. That's my predictions. I don't care. Now moving on to a heavyweight title match between Jericho and Edge. Uh, the <laughs> most talked about thing in this match is a spear. No, I think that this uh, that this should have been hyped better though. But I, I I do think this might just be the match still, believe it or not. But you know um, this match, I'm just gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna say Chris Jericho is gonna win, basically because Edge has been spearing the hell out of Chris Jericho like week after week after week after week. Even though even though Jericho got him at one point, he got him a couple of times. But the Edge he's spearing his ass week after week after week. So I'm just gonna go with Chris Jericho. I just wish that this match. Was hype just a little bit better, just a little bit better. Matter of fact, a whole lot better than know than what it is. And I'm I'm sort of sick of the guys who win the Royal Rumble, winning WrestleMania matches. I'm sick of that too. So hopefully, you know, we get Chris Jericho's probably gonna win, and this feud is gonna continue. But moving on, moving on, moving on to the next WWE Championship match. Well, there's only one WWE Championship, but the other World Title match. John Cena versus Batista, um, good build-up. I'm, I'm, I am into this field. I'm into these guys. Uh, I'm probably more in, into Batista's character than I ever been, period. I mean, like, I really am. I, I really do want to see this match. I haven't wanted to see a uh, Batista and John Cena match, like, 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 really. I haven't been into a field. You know, one of these guys' field is so damn long. But, you know, this is a pretty good build-up. You know, the two biggest stars since the Attitude Era, since Batista, I mean, well, since, well, according to Batista, but, you know, Truth is, man, Batista's the second biggest star on, uh, in the WWE. That's because Jeff Hardy left. And then again, he probably was the third biggest because in my, you know, at some point, Jeff Hardy was probably actually bigger than John Cena. But that's just my opinion, and that's besides the point. But you know, if I had to pick a winner, it's gonna be John Cena. John Cena is gonna win this match at WrestleMania. Bottom line, he's the underdog. He always come in, you know, you know come out fighting. That's you no, know, that's John Cena for you. So he's the underdog. I really, I really do think that John Cena is going to win this match, and he is my WrestleMania pick. John Cena is going to beat Batista, and you know I just enjoyed this build up. Uh, probably you know the second best build up, you know on the on the card period. But that's just what I think. So moving on to the World Heavyweight Title match. I mean, excuse me, not the World Heavyweight Title match. The match between the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. Streak versus career, how they've been building it up. The promo packages are great. I like that. Uh, the, I love that song between, you know, that song he was playing, you know, with Johnny Cash. Pretty good song. I like that song. And, uh, you know, I'm not even a big rock and roll person, but, you know, I like that song. So, uh, but, you know, the match, you know, this match is going to be the, probably be the best match on the card. No, I'm going to say that this is going to be the best match on the card. Bottom line, it's the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, nonetheless. This is going to be the best match on the card, no doubt. Uh, will it be a four-star match? We'll see, because they last match, you know, it was controversial. Was it a four-star match? Was it a five-star match? In my opinion, it was a four-star match. I don't think it was a five-star match, but it was a four-star match. But we'll see if they can top what they did at last year's WrestleMania, or, or have it at least know around the same, because I think if it's not as good or better, anything anything below that, you know, I said in my other videos, is going to be disappointing, in my opinion. So, but, you know, hey, you know, really good build-up. Nice build up. I'm enjoying this build up. Best build up in uh in, in wrestling period. You know that I've said it before in my other videos. The best build up in wrestling right now. So who's gonna win? Is Shawn Michaels' career gonna end officially? <laughs> is his career really gonna end? Well, despite the fact of Shawn Michaels losing, not his career is not gonna be over completely. Bottom line. The only reason why I even I would say they have Shawn Michaels there is basically so that Shawn Michaels will help get guys over. I guess. And had that match at WrestleMania, with that real good match at WrestleMania. That's basically why I would say Shawn Michaels is still around. But is he gonna lose? Is, but then again, is Undertaker gonna lose? Should he lose? You know, I'm a little sick of his streak. To be honest with you, I'm a little sick of his streak. But should his streak be over? But you know, I'm just gonna go on and I'm gonna say that Undertaker is gonna be Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. I, I can see it. I can somewhat see Shawn Michaels ending his streak, but I can see Undertaker coming out at the end too at WrestleMania. And uh, if they if the Undertaker do come out 
said at the end of WrestleMania, uh, you know, his, his streak is just going to continue. But then again, maybe Shawn Michaels might just beat Deion and Tanker, and uh, who knows, we might just see a third match at WrestleMania. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, this is that's the end of my uh, predictions video. This is Was on Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, and I'm out.